Welcome to Master the Game. I am Juice, and today I am going to talk about my family's holiday RPG haul. So let's get started. So my wife had expressed interest in a few different sets of dice, and the common theme with all of them was kind of like a rainbowy theme. So she did submit a list to me, and these were one of the things on her list. Now I've known for a few months I was going to get her dice, uh, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get her metal dice or what. Um, I decided to get her metal dice, and I think they're really nice, and she's absolutely thrilled with them. So here, I'll show you real quick. The dice, the metal part is a rainbowy color. Obviously you have white around the numbers and th there's a good weight to them, you know? And the other thing I ended up getting her was this purple dice tray, which uh, again, it was a good color for her. She was thrilled. So, and that's all that matters, right? She runs our Tomb of Annihilation game, and I'm hoping these dice don't roll as well for her as they were rolling for me the other night. Some of the stuff that I got, which I was really excited about, were things that are helpful at the table itself. And the first thing I'm going to talk about here is these spell markers, which my green screen might mess these up a little bit because there's some green in there, but it's still pretty cool. Um, they come in this case. It's a little cheap cardboard case that looks fairly nice, but it is cardboard and flimsy. And here's the marker. So I'm, rather than show you, because again, the green screen might pick it up a little funny, uh, I will pick a couple, pick one up and show you up close. You can see it's got that shininess to it. It's like a cardboard, uh, like a pressed cardboard, really, really dense though, really sturdy. You know, I, I probably could bend it if I tried, but, um, but they're really sturdy. And you can write on these if you need to. So um, that is kind of cool. And there's a lot. It's uh, 20, um, actually, I'm sorry. It's 40 different rings with six of them being blank for you to write whatever you need to on there. So I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that in my home games for sure. The next thing is this spell template. And the spell template is really cool. It's circle, uh, circular, and it's got 20, 20 uh, foot radius uh, at the end. It's got your 15 foot cone. Uh, it's got cubes. It, it's it's pretty good. It's it's a really good template to use. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I'm really like this is the one thing that I like went crazy about that I wasn't really expecting to get. Um, so I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. Santa Claus brought me this, which if you were watching the other night, you would have seen me playing uh, Baldur's Gate 1 over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash master the game RPG, which you can find the link in the description below. But I had started playing uh, just a little bit after Christmas and did not realize you could create your whole party at the start of the game. So I was playing with my guy and recruiting people that didn't really fit his personality. And so I rubbed people wrong. I got into some fights with some, some flaming fists. And overall, it did not go down very well. But when I started the stream game, I started brand new fresh. Uh, another thing I got that my wife found for me before she saw my list, which was really cool, is the monsters know what they're doing. Now, I haven't read a lot of the book, as you can see, but I've started, and I already like what I've read. I've read some amazing stuff uh, in this about how he determined the tactics based on the type of monster they are, based on their attributes, and I'll admit, I am guilty of exactly what he says most DMs are, of just run up, stab, stab, stab. I try to use strategy in the moment, uh, what I think they would do, but on further reflection, thanks to this book, I realize I need a lot of work, 
And so this book is going to be great for that because I think I'm going to learn a lot and just overall become a more interesting encounter running Dungeon Master. So again, thank you for this. Um, and I look forward to digging in far deeper. Now, Santa Claus did a D&D theme for our family this year, which last year was a fantasy theme, which was kind of cool. And um, my daughter got these two books. And I'll be honest, I am itching to read both of these. Uh, I have told her that if she likes them and she reads both of them, I will get her the other two, the Tombs one and the Wizards one. Um, so again, I hope she really likes them. Uh, it's Wizards and Spells, and then it's Dungeons and Tombs. Those are the other two. So again, these look really good. Just flipping through them, I mean, there's good information in here. Even if you're just someone who's new to D&D, they're clearly written for for younger, uh, young adults and, you know, children who can handle this kind of thing. Um, you know, it's it, they're really good, though. So my daughter's eight, just to give you an idea, and these books are, like, the perfect age range for her. So there's that. We got our infant, uh, this book, to read to him. But I have a feeling my four-year-old's going to get more use out of this. It's the one, two, threes of D&D. &D, numbers for players of every level. Now, I have not... This is my first chance opening it right now. Uh, it looks to be fairly good. I mean, whoa. Again, the green on the green screen doesn't work well. But <laughs> there's a lot of green in this book. Um... Yeah, no, this is good. I, I think this will be a fun book for him, especially as he's really learning to read uh, here soon. And I think that'll be uh, awesome moving forward for him and our infant. Now, this was for our four-year-old, uh, soon to be five-year-old. And it's the Adventures Outlined, illustrations by Todd James, coloring book. Uh, again, I don't think it's going to... Yeah, see the... De Ooh trickery <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool though um but this book will be a good one to read and uh again i'm looking forward or to read to color i'm looking forward to actually coloring some of these myself we even talked about possibly just using it to make uh, copies of so that we can all color some of the same pictures um i have a lot of room in my game room to put pictures like this up on the wall if they ever get colored too so uh that was the D, D aspect of the the holiday for us that's that's what we all got from that my wife got a gold uh necklace with a dragon head on it um too for christmas the head was like that big it's a big head um so, you know, it was a good D&D &D Christmas, I would say. I mean, we got other stuff. Uh, the green screen I've had, but the stands for it, I did not have. And uh, got some other things. I personally include my laptop that I had to buy uh, a couple months ago is part of my Christmas gift as well. Um, and I've got some gift cards to spend. So I will probably be getting a few more things in the next month or so. Uh, some stuff to help with videos and things. But... It was good. Everyone's happy. Everyone's excited. My daughter really wants to play some D&D. &D. My son wants to play D&D. &D. Uh, my wife is open to playing it. So we might get a family game going if we think my, my four-year-old son can handle it. If not, it might just be me and my daughter. And, uh, you know, if, if that's the case, we might stream it. We don't, I don't know. You know, it kind of depends on the day and how I'm feeling. Um, We've been playing Dragonwood a lot. She got the Marvel, five-minute Marvel game. We've been playing, well, her and my wife have been playing that. And uh, we're, we're trying to play more games as a family. It's, it's something that we have found makes for a more relaxing and fun day for us. And it's, it's good bonding time for us, I think. So we've been doing that on weekends a little more. And yeah. So anyways, that is everything in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. This was Master of the Game. I am Juice. If this is your first time here, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hammer that like button. I hope you'll join us next time. I am Juice. Game on.